What is up guys, this is Stereo back with another video on the Poco A5 5G and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest build of the Evolution X ROM and I'm still daily driving this ROM and my experience overall with this has been really really amazing and it has improved a lot with the updates and right now today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the 19th September 2023 build and here let me show you this is how my home screen looks like I have been using a fresh walls wallpaper and with that this is how it looks looks so beautiful I have been using the iPhone 15 kind of wallpaper and with that everywhere the accent colors and stuff you will see it looks so cool and you can change the accent colors from here you can enable the dark theme the themed icons the app grid you can change from right here up to 6 by 10 then the shortcuts also you can change the left and right shortcuts in the lock screen then we have the system icon packs as well in the wallpapers and styles also the system fonts you can change from right here you do have this in dot 55 this is the nothing dot font kind of so yeah all these things you do get over here you get a plethora of options for the fonts so you can customize it however you want i have been using the google's clock widget and with that it looks so beautiful and even the animations with that looks pretty fine and it works perfectly fine with the animations and stuff and everywhere the 120 hertz it's working great even the bluetooth battery status and stuff everything it's working perfectly fine no problems whatsoever that i have faced to the left of the home screen we still have the google's discover page swiping up it will get you to the app drawer swiping down will get you to the quick setting panel which looks like this i have customized it to the vertical layout with that this is how it looks like and it looks very punchy overall but i do hate the fact that even in the light theme the quick setting panel stays dark like this so that's how it is still and talking about the android version section this is how it looks like we still get the evolution x logo up top the android version is still 13 of course but the evolution x version if it is 7.9.8 the code name is lugao i think not really sure if that's how it's pronounced apologies for the mistakes and there is the marble written because that's the official code name of the poco f5 and this is the official build again the security patch has been updated to the latest september 1st 2023 so this is really great that we are getting september security patch right out of the box on this rom and we have the stock kernel as the 5.10 ramaxu kernel the build maintainer is of course joe still and we have the build date as 19th September 2023 and this next day shows as enforcing. In the system panel settings we still have the gesture settings the quick tap actions and stuff are still there you can customize it between these many options and we do have the quickly open camera the system navigation gestures in the settings of it we still have the pill length and radius customization you do get the advanced swipe actions and you can customize it between these many options so all of these customizations are here we have the IME button space customization we have the swipe to invoke assistant that too works perfectly fine left edge right edge customization is there we have the amount of screen height to be used for the back gesture we have the double tap to wake the swipe quick screenshot all these functionalities are still working fine we have the share edit delete and the google lens feature as well then we get the playback control and the prevent ringing options right here but as of right now in the system settings you will not find the system updater it has been officially removed because of the android 14 updates which will be coming in the future so that you don't accidentally flash uh, android 14 via ota on top of this one which may cause errors so I think that's why the developer has removed the system update settings, but you can still update it with the manually update method that I already made a video on. I'll list it in the description or the cards. And if you don't know how to clean flash this ROM on the Poco A5, that guide will also be present in the description. Now let's talk about the stock camera. Well, you are getting the Leica camera version 5 still, and it looks so beautiful. It has huge, huge amount of options in even the photo settings, but there is also the 0.66 or ultra wide angle lens working fine 2x, telephoto zooming option it's also working fine swiping up will get to the panorama vlog short film and all of these other options that you are noticing from right here in the video settings you do get up to 4k and 60 fps shooting option as you can see right now it shows 4k and 60 frames per second so this is just insane you don't even get this option in MIUI, and it is actually working over here it's not a gimmick or something it's actually working i have actually tested it so that's just huge with the rear camera and even with the front camera if you're shooting videos you can go up to 10 and 60 fps options so that's just huge as you can see it's moving perfectly fine so yeah 10 p 60 fps videos and stuff it is still there in MIUI, i think so that will work over here too so no issues but here i have to say the camera is very very optimized you won't face any issues and in the documents mode we have the enhanced option and stuff you can take documents and there is a pro video mode you can also shoot it up to 4k 60 fps with pro mode video recording and where you can control the white balance the shutter speed and the focus and stuff all those things you can actually change so that's just huge even in the portrait mode as you can see front camera portrait and stuff everything is working fine and there is a night mode and the 61 megapixel mode and here are some examples so that you can get an idea about the camera quality or optimization with this rom 
in the evolver settings you will still get amazing amazing amount of customization in the miscellaneous settings you still have the pocket addiction the parallel space the game space smart pixels then the brightness slider haptic feedback is there right now and we have the quick setting tile vibration as well and we have the unlimited google photo storage unlock added pc in games netflix poof all these features if you scroll down more you get the ignore window secure flags then we have the two step icon sensor block per package alarm blocker and the wake lock blocker and there is the usb configuration you can set it for convenience in the lock screen settings you will also get plethora of lock screen clock customization and there are just huge amount of numbers like 100 plus options for the lock screen clock so you can customize that and we have the always on display scheduling option as well and we have the media cover triple effect etc options so this rom again has huge huge amount of customization still you can do whatever you want in this customization section I'm not going to show you everything right now let me just switch to the battery settings in here this is how it looks like and here we have the battery usage the pixel battery stats then we have the adaptive preference and even the thermal profiles are here so you can set per app to these benchmark browser camera dialer gaming streaming etc options let me go back we have the charging control as well and there is the adaptive kind of charging mode or the automatically schedule option for this charging and you can limit it as well we have the battery charge warning then we have the battery optimization per app you can do also we have the design battery capacity the current battery capacity the charging cycles and the battery temperature seeing option as well so you can see almost any info regarding the battery with this battery settings that's just huge even there is the sleep mode you can use it if you want now let me show you with the Aku battery app I've tested it with and here with this I have got about 8 hours and 21 minutes of screen on time. These are all estimated numbers guys but even with that I would say the battery life you can definitely get 8.5 hours of screen on time and that's just huge with this amount of performance that I have to say and even the screen off or the standby time you can see it's about 40 hours so that's again a huge amount of number now because I use this device heavily this combine use shows as only 14 hours about but yeah, it will definitely give you a whole long day of usage no issues with that even in the health section let me show you my battery health shows as 93% as of today the battery life that I'm getting it's pretty amazing and even the fast charging over here it's working perfectly fine no need to worry about that in the sound and vibration settings this is how it looks like we have the alarm volume and stuff and the phone ringtone and stuff right here you can change and the ringtone vibration pattern changing option of, of course are there we have the sound changing option and the part of volume control dial pet tone screen locking sound charging sound and vibration then we have the dolby atmos right here so you can choose the preset to dynamic video music and the voice we also have this preset options but there is no me audio direct as of right now as there is this new dolby atmos settings so that's great we have the clear speaker option as well you can enable it if you want once you're playing music it looks like this in the lock screen there is this wavy kind of seek bar and the volume panel let me show you this is how it looks like and you can expand the volume panel but you have to unlock the device if you do that from the volume panel i guess let me just decrease the volume from right here and here let me show you in the quick setting panel as well there is the volume expansion option and we have the playing and pausing looks like this so looks very beautiful and by the way the volume panel you can expand normally like this and there is the phone putting option to vibrate or silent from right here it's really simple in terms of the security options of course we still have the quick unlock and stuff in the more settings we still have the app lock and in the fingerprint settings there is of course the touch to unlock anytime so if you want to like press on the fingerprint scanner then only unlock you can disable this option let me show you the locking and unlocking stuff and by the way the always on display looks like this it looks so beautiful right now i have seen pickup gesture it's actually not working so i'm using the always on display normally it's working fine but normal the pocket wave and stuff all those things hand wave kind of options are working fine with the ambient display but here let me show you if you just tap the fingerprint scanner just notice how fast it unlocks it's a very fast unlocking experience no problems whatsoever that i have faced and here also with this particular finger as you can see it's unlocking perfectly fast and the animation and stuff there is no glitchiness at all even the double tap to sleep is working fine and if you tap and hold on a shortcut that too is working fine from the lock screen and if i just swipe up as you can see it's showing with the recognizing face and as you can see it is unlocked let me try one more time with the face unlock so yeah right now as you can see it has unlocked perfectly fast let me try one more time so yeah it is working perfectly fine and even the fingerprint scanner is working and as you can see this is how the app lock ui looks like and if i just tap the fingerprint scanner the app particularly unlocks and goes straight wherever i left it so this is really great the app lock face unlock and the fingerprint scanner everything is working perfectly smoothly i have the smooth and 90 fps selected in bgmi and it is showing about 90 fps but let me start it so even in terms of gaming performance i would say even in this kind of lobby if you're noticing i'm getting about 90 fps all the time 
and you can tap here to get more options like this you can record the screen and stuff like that it's currently hovering around 80 90 fps as you can see from the screen so right now it's i have seen it's dropping about 70 So yeah, overall gaming experience, it's really good. Like 90 FPS almost you are getting all the time. So while gaming, you will not face any issues. And after gaming, I can feel the device is certainly a little bit warm. Let me show you after just like couple of minutes. The temperatures right now, it's about 38 degrees of the battery. So yeah, I would say it's not getting too hot at all. Now in terms of overall performance, if you're wondering about that, yes, in TestUFO website, as you can see, it's reaching about 120 FPS. Sometimes it's reaching 120 perfectly fine. So yeah, I would say in overall like day-to-day -day performance, you will not see any kind of issues even in X and stuff. I mean, formerly Twitter here as well, the scrolling and stuff, it's working perfectly fine. It's very smooth experience overall while like scrolling and stuff in Twitter or even in Instagram and stuff like that, it's perfectly fast. And if you're switching between apps, it's not a problem at all. It's a very fast overall experience while switching between apps. Even in the recent panel, just notice how smoothly you can do all of these. And in the recent panel, you can have the screenshot, the Google Lens, the clear all, and there is a RAM usage status on the bottom. You can put the like apps into split screen mode or stuff like that, even in freeform mode, if you want to have those. So all of these things are working perfectly fine and it's a very fast and snappy experience everywhere in the CY. And here are the Android and Geekbench code with a CPU stress test on this particular build to give you an idea about the overall UI performance as of today. In case you are wondering about the basic things, yes, the DNM info shows as L1 here, so you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p. The IR Blaster also works perfectly fine here. And the safety net as of today currently shows as passed, so that's really great. And the banking apps has been always working perfectly fine here, no issues. And the Google Photos just show that this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos with this. So this is a really great feature to have. In case you are wondering about the Wi-Fi and 5G speeds, yes, everything is working fine. Let's just do a speed test with 5G as of right now. And here you will notice it's reaching about like 1000 megabits per second. So this is just insane. The 5G speeds are working perfectly fine. Even for normal vaulty calling and stuff, everything is working fine. Talking about calling, it has the Google dialer and stuff and they are working fine, but it does announce if you try to record calls. Except for that, I would say the Evolution X ROM right now for the Poco A5, it's really, really baked. And this version 798, it's one of the best stable experiences that I have seen on the Poco A5. And the camera is perfectly optimized. The performance, it's really, really great. The battery life is awesome and the fast charging is working fine. The device doesn't get too hot at all while like even heavy usage. And this is the moment right now that I can say the Poco A5's Evolution X-ROM has been one of the most stable experiences that I have ever expected. And right now I can definitely say this particular build has surpassed all my expectations and it is much, much better even when compared to what I have expected. And one of the best things that I can say is the camera right now has been really, really optimized. It is much, much better optimized even when compared to MIUI's MIUI camera. In MIUI's MIUI camera, you do not get 4K 60fps. Here, you do get that feature. So yeah, with all of these, I can definitely say Evolution X is still one of my favorite ROMs for the Poco A5. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Please share this video with your friends if you want them to know about the latest build stability on the Poco A5. I am just loving it. And please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD Index signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.